Dear Kirsten, I suck at writing things down on paper and expressing my feelings, but I vow to show you how much I love you by my actions and by my words. I vow to encourage you in your faith with the Lord as you encourage me. I vow to be your rock through the hard times and through the good times. For many years, I've always wondered what this day would look like, or if it would ever actually come, and now it's actually finally here. As a young girl, I thought, wondering what it would look like, what I'd wear, where it'd be, who would be there, but then as I started to get older, my perspective really started to change. I started to care less and less about what the day would look like, and I started to care way, way, way more about the type of man that he would be. Hi. <laughs> you look gorgeous. It's got pockets. It has pockets. Look. <laughs> <laughs> Are you surprised? No. <laughs> we'll be right there. We'll be down there. Everybody will be out there. And what are you saying I do? There was this one time Kirsten went shooting with Trevor and David. And the first thing I remember thinking as I was looking at the target and where the bullet holes were, I thought, okay, homegirl can shoot a gun. All right, I see you, that's impressive. And then, <laughs> I'm just listening to her tell Kyle about the experience, what a good time she had. I looked over at Trevor, watching Kirsten talk and just listening to her, that made me think, hmm, well, that's interesting. But I did start to suspect at that point that something would eventually happen between those two. So I would just like everyone to know that I called it, but <laughs> that is not important. The point I'm trying to make is that I think that this has been in the making for a long time. Trevor, you're starting a new chapter. I couldn't be more happier for you. You have always been my ride or die. And to Kirsten. I don't know you well at all. The one thing that I do know about you is that you make my boy so happy. And for that, I am thankful. And that makes you good in my book. We have come together as family and friends in the presence of God here at this beautiful, beautiful place to uphold uh, Trevor Lloyd Slew and Kirsten Elena Zeeler, as they establish this day a covenant and make their vows of marriage. Trevor, you've walked with me through some of the highest highs in my life and celebrated with me through all of them and some of the lowest lows in my life. And you've been there to encourage me through that entire process. I love you and I'm excited for the rest of our life together. Through the authority I've been given by God, the church in the state of Wisconsin, I actually declare right now that they are husband and wife. Trevor, you may kiss your bride, Kirsten. <laughs>